just got to the park and I'm actually at a different park today. Originally, I was gonna to go to my usual basketball court with the nine foot 10 rim. And I happened to take a different route to that park and drove by a different neighborhood. And I saw another basketball court. So I thought maybe I should just check this out to see what the rim's like. I think this one also might be slightly below 10 feet. I gotta bring some measuring tape to to officially measure it, but it does not feel like 10 feet. And as part of my dunk attempt journey, the way I first learned how to dunk when I was in my mid twenties was starting on a lower rim, getting your timing down, building that confidence and just getting more attempts overall. And the nice thing about this park is that it's pretty empty and it's really clean. So nice and peaceful today. Another backstory is Thanksgiving was last week, and if you guys have been following me for a while, I love to eat. A lot of people say that, but I can eat a lot of food. So usually during vacations, I try to relax a little bit, hang out with family, and just enjoy myself. <laughs> and I gained five pounds from Thanksgiving break. So I started cutting down on Monday, and today is Wednesday. So we'll see if I was able to lose a couple pounds, but I don't know how well I'll be jumping today because I wasn't able to get in the weight room last week. I was just doing a bunch of body weight work and I was eating a lot of food. So that recipe usually means lower vertical. So I'm just going today with no expectations and just trying to get back into my dunk training. Now I'm going to get into the warm up. There's a series of new warm up movements that I've been trying, inspired by Max Schmarzo. And you can find his Instagram page. But he's also part of Upper Echelon Nutrition. He's a great trainer for professional athletes. And he was just doing some track and field dynamic warmups that I wanted to incorporate into my own warmups. So I tried a few of them and I felt my glutes light up. Definitely felt more reactive in my hip and my Achilles, which is great because you want to be more elastic when you're jumping. So I encourage you guys to try these out and see how they feel. Let's get the warm up in. I'm about to unveil the next apparel release, which is the Elevate Athletic T 2.0. So it's the Elevate logo without the word, and it's larger, just to give you that extra boost of energy. And then here's the kicker. So now we got the Elevate word on the back, demanding that you elevate yourself. So make sure you get your Elevate Athletic Tee 2.0 today while supplies last, and you can buy a shirt at the Elevate Apparel Store linked below. Here's the worst part about only doing dunk attempt sessions once every month, is my timing and toss get bad very quickly and it's similar to not spiking for a month you might have the jumping ability and the arm swing but the timing is the first thing to go and that's the hardest thing to retain so that's frustrating I'm probably gonna spend the next 10 20 minutes just trying to get a good toss before I actually get some good jumps and that's why we got to be consistent with the training right So it doesn't look like dust gonna happen today, but it was good just to 
get some more jumping volume with max intent. And I'm definitely jumping lower today. I feel that uh, Thanksgiving dinner is still sitting in me. Even though I ate a lot on Thanksgiving, we just had leftovers probably three or four days after that, just trying to finish everything and enjoying that yummy Thanksgiving food, which is high carb, high fat, which is an easy way to, to get fatter. So hopefully once I cut down, probably by next week, I think I'll get back into my normal form, but definitely felt heavy. Like it took a lot of effort just to get off the floor. Something to take away from this is that your training journey is not always gonna be linear improvement, all right? Life hits you or sometimes your body just doesn't respond positively to training all the time. So you might feel a good increase, then you might regress, and then you feel an increase and regress. But notice that the overall path of your goal should be upward. Even if it is up and down, stick through those down moments, commit to your training, and then you'll get another rise in your performance. So that's why consistency is a key because having lower performances like today is just part of the process. Now I'm gonna finish off on some knee strengthening exercises that I'll show you guys that I've been trying out. For those of you who've been following me for a while, I had a pretty bad knee injury in April of 2019. And honestly, it's still not 100%. So it goes back and forth between 90 to 95%. So I can still train pretty hard and play without thinking too much about it. But I still feel the aggravation here and there. So my goal is to continue to strengthen my knees and really bulletproof them. And I'll show you this exercise that I've been trying out from the ATG knees over toes guy who is a knee injury prevention specialist. So now I'm gonna finish off on single leg elevated negative squats, only on the left side. My right leg is plenty strong, and part of the reason why I injured my knee was because my left leg was just significantly weaker in terms of the single leg strength compared to my right side. So I'm determined not to let that be a reason for injury ever again. And the funny thing is, we've got a little horse here, and Adding a stability component is really, really great for building that joint strength and stability for injury prevention and just overall body control. So if you guys don't have a stability ball or a basu ball, just go to the park. I just finished my training session and unfortunately it doesn't look like I'll be coming back to this park. The hoop is great and it's definitely not 10 feet. It just feels a few inches shy of that. So we'll just say it's 910. But I don't know if you can see it from here. This has a decline. So as it gets closer to the hoop, it actually slants down. So it was really affecting my jumping today. And my block step was really slow. At first I thought it was because I was just moving slow, but when I watched the video, I noticed the, the decline there. I was really hoping this would be the park because it's closer to my house. It only takes around seven, eight minutes, whereas the other park takes around 15 to 20 minutes to get to. So I just arrived at my brother's house and my nephews, my babies are gonna help me package my t-shirts. And they've been sporting the Elevate gear for a while. They like to watch my videos. And plus it's just a fun way to hang out with them. So we just got in the backyard. Those are the new shirts that came in. Here's a little workstation and here are our workers. Hello. That is Evan and this is Dylan. Hi. And they are getting paid in t-shirts today. <laughs> and Evan, they actually went to my clinics last year, but Evan's played a little bit of volleyball at the school. So, and the DT, he's also gonna try to play some volleyball. This is the progress. The boys are doing a great job. Getting better and better at wrapping it. We packed all the mediums so far. Now we're on to the, the largest. All right, we're just about done. We've packaged over 70 shirts. There's our little crew there. And that's the last one. That's my sister-in-law. You guys know Diti and Evan. Finishing up the smalls. Thank you so much, boys, for helping me today. Welcome. Welcome. You guys look good in the, the new shirts. Thank you.
Now I'm on my way to see Dr. Cresta, who is my sports chiropractor, and I try to see her every one to two months just for maintenance. One thing that she's been really great at is flushing my knee and really helping it get reactivated. So I try not to wait before things get really bad, before I see a doctor. It's always good to try to take preventative measures so you don't have to take time off from really preventable injuries. To mobilize sports therapy. Here's the office. And now it's torture time. So I just finished with Dr. Cresta and my knee looks a lot better. I didn't realize how swollen it was. I wish I took a video before she helped get the swelling down, but it was really puffy right there and that's why it was a little irritated on the medial side of the knee, but she did a great job flushing it as always. And this one feels better already. Now it's time to get some food. So I know I said I'm trying to lean out from getting fat over Thanksgiving and I'm still trying to do that. So my goal every day is 2,500 calories. That's my losing two pounds a week diet. So I'm here at Ono Hawaiian, which is very high calorie meals. We got the Mac salad, we got the Hawaiian barbecue and the rice. But I've only had 800 calories for today. So that means I have 1700 calories for the rest of the day. So I can splurge here and I plan for that. If you guys are trying to eat to be lean, it's not just about eating chicken breast and broccoli. It's about planning out your calories and calculating them ahead of time. So you can have the yummy meals that you want, but stay within your limits and to make sure you get all the nutrition that you need. Oh, I love me some Hawaiian barbecue. I just got home from Ono Hawaiian Barbecue and I cannot wait to eat this feast. I've been fantasizing about it all day and I've been hungry all morning because I purposely ate fewer calories during the first half of the day so I can enjoy a higher calorie meal at the end of the day and still meet my calorie requirements. We got the Hawaiian barbecue mix, short rib chicken, bulgogi, gotta have the mac salad, two scoops of rice, and then we got the spam musubi, and I purposely asked for half the rice just because I feel like they put too much rice in it. And of course, watching highlights of volleyball. This is between Modena and Padova from the Italian Superliga. And I get to watch two of my favorite setters. We got Michael Christensen and Kavika Soji, two American setters. After that, probably gonna edit some video, work on some more Elevate stuff, and sell some shirts. Thanks again for following along. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you.